Well, good morning, everyone. And here we are into our first month of avinihealth.com. And I'm just kind of thinking, this is new. I, I feel the novelty, the freshness of what we're doing. So excited about it. And wow, it's a fun story to tell. We're talking about two scientists that we've followed that have many, many years of experience. And wow, they've come together and they've started their own company. That's pretty darn exciting. And yet, on the other hand, this is brand new, and yet it's not. I'm feeling very comfortable because uh, minimum, all of these people that are, are running with me, I've known for a couple of years, and I'm uh, just very trust, trusting in what they're doing, and, and everybody's done what they've done before for other people. Now we're all together creating our own company, and I think that's just really, really a magical thing moment right now. The planets are aligned. Uh, uh, the Avini opportunity is fully functional and it is happening. Wow. We've got a wonderful life-changing products. They're being shipped. Uh, we're getting paid and we're growing. And wow, this, the, the future is a, is, is a certainty, I believe, because everybody needs this stuff. So wow. And so I've created um, a PowerPoint. Well, I actually, I've taken a PowerPoint and applied it here. So let's let's go through that. But just to kind of talk about, wow, the future is a certainty. If you, if you follow this, I, I really believe so. Here's the idea that uh, uh, all the people that do economics, which is a sim a sim essentially just uh, studying people, uh, economics and, and business is, is the study and, and science of people. And people collectively are highly predictable. One, one of the big things that we hear about all the time is the pig and the python, the baby boomers uh, follow where they're going. Uh, if you can be ahead of them, uh, magical things will happen. But one of the things I think is fascinating if you follow the baby boomers is they're all uh, getting older. I, I are one of those. <laughs> and I think most baby boomers like myself were in total denial. Uh, I think of all the things that we, we want is is our youth and we'll do everything we can to keep on to that. And, and yet it is inevitable. Uh, and yet on the other hand, what we do daily can dramatically affect our quality of life. And, and so we're talking about the idea of not just living longer, but living better. And so following business and demographics and everything, the baby boomers are approaching 80. And one of the most fascinating things is the study of health products and prescriptions and things like that peak at age 80. Uh, that's where people spend the most money on their health. And so you can see the world getting ready for that. Uh, more and more pharmaceuticals, uh, uh, pretty much every hospital has a crane next to it and they're adding on a new wing across the street is a dialysis unit, all, all of this kind of stuff because people are getting older. And yet on the other hand, uh, more and more, there's gyms coming up. Uh, there's never been a time where more supplements and different things that uh, you can do naturally to help extend your quality of life is, is also going. And so people will spend the most drugs at 80, but they'll also spend the most on natural and, and helpful things. And so we have a, a long uh, growth ahead. Another thing as far as just the reality is... Can, can you afford to actually retire? And do you even want to retire? I, I, I believe uh, one of the things that's so wonderful about this is, is Vince Lombardi said it really well. It's, it's better to create than, than just maintain. In fact, can you even really maintain? Uh, you're either growing or, or you're not. Uh, you're, that's, that's just it. And so I, I just am so grateful for the opportunity to uh, be involved in a, a new business, new work that uh, really matters with, with people. Uh, also, uh, th this moment, I really recommend people look at something like this because there is uncertainties out there. I, I just think uh, uh, Jim Rohn said it so well that uh, if you don't have a dream of your own, if you don't have your own plan, Odds are you're going to work for someone else who has a plan. And guess what you uh, have 
uh, involved as, as far as uh, and someone else's plan, what they have uh, for you, uh, not much. And and also just in these times of uncertainty where it was really mostly we've thought, well, we go to work, get a good job and and just do the right stuff. Things will work out. Well, there's there's just a lot of chaos going on right now where just that kind of stuff. Uh, every time you go to the gas pump, the, the prices are higher. Uh, going to the grocery store, you think, well, wow, I don't remember it being that much. Uh, well, it never was before. And on the, on the other hand, there's so much entrepreneurial opportunity. Uh, there's so many people just thriving out there. And yet, on the other hand, if you're just working for someone else and working for their plan, uh, I, I highly recommend you take charge of your own life right now. This is the moment. And so I'm going to show you a way where you can take charge and be in an area of huge growth environment, uh, sharing stuff that, that people really do need. And so screen share. Let's see. And so we are, uh, Avini Health. Okay, I'll just let this all out. Avini Health, everyone asks, why Avini Health? What does that mean? And essentially, if you are looking to start a new company and you have a CEO who has run a billion dollar company before and he is tight, uh, you start looking for names that aren't used by companies and you find these clever people who have already bought names and they want to sell you those names for a whole lot of money. And Neil essentially just says, I'm not going to pay money uh, for a name. We'll figure it out ourselves. And so that's kind of how this came, came up. So, but wonderfully in some language, it means winning. And I love that winning in health uh, advances in natural wellness. Wow. And so here we are. And, and here's an opportunity that Zig Ziglar says so well that if you help enough other people get what they want and need, then you'll automatically uh, get what uh, you, you want to need. That, what a wonderful way to live your life is just be in the service of others. So we have a business that is not just making a profit, uh, but making a profit by doing good. So we've got something pretty amazing here. Okay, every business should have a purpose. And, and this is our purpose. Uh, we had the product first. As I mentioned, we've got two brilliant world-class scientists who have created blockbuster products, both of them, uh, a long history of just really making products that people already will buy. Uh, this is huge. And yet, uh, here we are. Uh, one of the stories that stuck in my mind was Rick Deitch, a biochemist, creating something out of total passion and then bringing it to someone else to market. And they said, well, we, uh, we're, we're, we don't want to pay that much. Can you take out this? Uh, what, we, what can you do to make that product so we can pay this for it? Uh, that would be very frustrating. And so all the time that I've been using these products for a few years, uh, I've had the feeling that the people that were marketing it just didn't have the passion about the products that I did. And that, that can really kind of goof you up. And another thing we've discovered, and I think every company, uh, and every company has some type of product or service, uh, we all understand that ultimately the best marketing is a friend speaking with a friend. Word of mouth, that is the best way to share. And, and what if you were gonna do that for free anyway, uh, which we do, uh, what if we could strategically pay people to do what they're going to do anyway for free? So this is this is what this is all based on, is, is people that really want to get the product out to people. And so, wow, okay, uh, again, revolutionary products that really do change people's lives. So we've got Rick Deitch, uh, an amazing uh, biochemist, uh, pharmacological and nutritional biochemist, Dr. Gary Samuelson, who's a, a renowned uh, atomic physicist, uh, is worked uh, in the medical community on the molecular level, uh, creating nanoparticles and stuff that do amazing things. Uh, a very smart, smart guy. 
well, both of them. Uh, Neil Roth, I've known him for a couple of years now and very smart guy. Uh, Neil uh, is pretty humble, doesn't really say much, but after I got to know him, uh, I just thought, well, yeah, he uh, ran a drugstore and I guess he was a distributor in uh, Rexall. And, but getting to know him more, uh, wow, he was a top distributor in Rexall and he found Rexall because he was the president of a billion dollar chain of drugstores. And that's how he met Rick Deitch uh, over 25 years ago. And they became close friends uh, ever afterward. And wow, uh, Neil, wow, nuclear physicist, wanted to be an astronaut, was on that program. Uh, uh, but working in the retail industry, found he loved people and really enjoyed business. And, and he was in a growth environment and wound up uh, being at the top of, uh, of the game in uh, drugstore chains as they began to grow. So we've, we've got amazing products, uh, science-based. Uh, uh, I think the most beautiful way to build a business is to have products that, uh, that really do make a difference. And in order to uh, uh, use them, you got to eat them and then you can buy, buy, buy more of them. And, and what are they designed to do? Well, just uh, improve your quality of life. Uh, uh, this is all about cellular health. And I like this idea that if your cells were all healthy, uh, the healthy cell concept is that uh, if every cell is healthy, you are healthy. And any disease is simply malfunctioning in enough cells that to express themselves as some type of symptom. Uh, but if we could get rid of all of those unhealthy cells, uh, we would get rid of dis-ease. Isn't that something that's fascinating? And, and there's, what are the reasons for cell malfunctioning? Well, it's simply not giving them what they need and giving them what they don't need. So we've, we've got uh, these, we've got products that make cells healthy. Therefore you will be healthy. Amazing, amazing products. So, okay. Uh, now I love the idea that most businesses today, they don't have some big factory with intense equity in all sorts of equipment and different things like that. We're one of these new businesses where ultimately it really is the people that is the equity of the business. Without the people, there isn't a business. And I really feel that the people behind this business, they're, they're in love with the products and they're in love with what they do to people. They really care about people. And we're building this out of a sense of mission to just help other people. Now, I have enjoyed working with these products for a couple of years, actively trying to build a business with other people. And it was always frustrating to have product that people may need urgently that could really make a difference today, uh, but waiting two or three weeks and not getting the product. Uh, wow, what a concept. Our, our goal is just really foundational things, uh, four things really well, uh, make the very best products, uh, and not uh, just on, well, we've got all of these different uh, uh, people in the pipeline, uh, not just the inventors, but the manufacturer, uh, the people that ship and take orders and you know do the fulfillment, all of these people that need a piece of the action. What if we could combine that all together so we can have the highest quality at affordable prices? And, and since everything is under one roof, where it's made is where it's shipped. And if there's extra stuff that is coming in, which we plan on doing, I'll just keep the manufacturing open a little longer. Isn't that exciting? Uh, pay our distributors on time and very well. Uh, but wow, really value the people that are doing this. Uh, this, is, this is really, uh, I, I, I would say, a, a, a breakthrough. Uh, people would like to do this. This seems so logical, but uh, here we are and we're doing it. So results-based, they're natural, scientifically researched, proprietary product. Uh, you want to have something that nobody else has, that everybody needs, and uh, it's, it's priced right, uh, and, and priced for profit. All of this kind of stuff is, is here, all with a brand new company. Is that exciting or what? So let's just go through our vast array of products, all, all four of them. <laughs> okay, this product, uh, initially the, the version of, of this, the earliest was launched in 2005. 
and it really gained a loyal following at its peak. Uh, I think this is over 10 years ago. They were, they were moving about 80,000 bottles a month. And people that were running it uh, for a couple of times now have just kind of forfeited uh, the opportunity. So frustrating. And so, uh, and yet on the other hand, the circuitous uh, uh, journey that I've uh, personally experienced in the last couple of years, uh, it, it's really created what I would say uh, inspirational dissatisfaction because it's been so frustrating that uh, all of the people that, that are principals in the company, including uh, us in the field, uh, have become so frustrated that it's kind of that old idea that, well, if you really want it done right, I guess you're going to have to do it yourself. And so it, it's created the inspiration and wherewithal to, to launch our own company. And, and it's so fun to tell people we've got our own research, uh, our own lab and manufacturing and distribution. We, we do it all in-house uh, from people who uh, have done it for many years together. We work really well together and trust each other. This is amazing. And so uh, just superficially, uh, zeolite, I would say easily 80% of the population, when you talk to them, have never heard of that word zeolite. Uh, let alone the delightful word clinoptilolite, which is a subcategory of a vast uh, different uh, uh, type of mineral species that's out there made by volcanoes when the ash and the uh, lava and everything interacts with ocean water. It, it creates these wondrous, uh, amazing minerals with, with wonderful properties, particularly uh, clinoptilolite. And, and there's millions of tons of it out there. It famously, it loves. Uh, bad stuff, uh, so much so that it's a, a primary ingredient in kitty litter. It even loves stink. Uh, they dumped tons of it on Chernobyl because it loves sucking up uh, radioactive isotopes. It uh, loves heavy, heavy metals, so much so that it has a reputation for, for just being filthy, you know, full of lead, cadmium, mercury, uh, arsenic, all, all of the bad stuff. Uh, and, and in effect, uh, it seems to be kind of nature's cleanser. Uh, the world has eliminative organs, if you will, and, and that's all this millions of tons of zeolite everywhere. As, as the wind blows and the rain falls, uh, uh, this stuff sucks up those toxins. Well, Rick, uh, he invented something that was amazing. Before, zeolite was made into a powder and people would take it with, with some success as an intestinal detox. That, that has tremendous value. Uh, he got the idea that since Clinoptilolite is the structure of little microscopic cages of crystal, little crystal cages that have a really strong negative charge. The, the size and shape of this crystal uh, allows it to actually discriminate between healthy metals and the bad ones. So it has very little interest in uh, something vital like magnesium or sodium or, or you know, things that are healthy for us. Uh, but the ideal level of mercury in your body is zero. Well, it particularly loves mercury and, and lead and cadmium and uh, arsenic and all of those bad things. And, and heavy metal poisoning, uh, the reason it's poison is it has a higher affinity than the uh, good minerals. And it comes in and it actually outcompetes every time with uh, the good metals and displaces them and all of the systems, which is just pretty much everything in our metabolic pathways, everything that's a chemical reaction seems to be facilitated by cofactors that are minerals. Uh, and we can't make those. They're in us, we need them, but along come heavy metals and knock those out and take their place. And it just is like little tiny micro uh, monkey wrenches thrown into our biological machinery and things don't work. And, and so imagine this idea where Rick found a way to particulate these into down into the, the micron size, literally. Uh, the average particle size of our newest formula is around one micron a piece, down to uh, 0.3 microns, 0.39 microns. And, and so it easily moves throughout the, the bloodstream and uh, goes uh, in, into the lymphatics and everything and just comes to your door uh, to pick up the trash. Isn't that amazing? Uh, there's lots of clinical studies that show that it's actually doing this. And I think in my mind that all of us are camels. And some of the camels 
who are on the ground already with broken backs. Uh, they, they had that. Uh, well, we all have straw. And why wait till that last straw that breaks the back, breaks the back of the camel? Uh, why not take that burden preemptively? Maybe you're getting around okay, but maybe that straw on your back, that body burden is kind of messing things up a little bit. I, I believe everybody needs this because we live on uh, this world that's polluted. It's everywhere. Every time you take a breath or drink water, eat food, uh, just touching things, you're introducing toxins into the body. And so here's a way to uh, take a shower on your inside of your body every time you take it. So this, this is amazing. Uh, another thing I tell people, just uh, uh, think about this. Uh, anything bad that you don't want, type it into your browser and then add heavy metals and you're, you're going to find an alarming connection between that. So, oh, wow. I love this product. Uh, just as an example, I uh, met a nurse and we were just visiting a little bit, asked her how she got into nursing and you know, kind of building a little bit of rapport. And I said, hey, uh, are you interested in good products? And she says, well, what, what do you mean? And I says, well, uh, you know, health products. And she's, oh, yeah. And I said, well, uh, I, I got to tell you, I'm selling snake oil. And I, it's kind of fun doing that. That might not always be the way to introduce it. But and I say, well, actually, seriously, because what we have is, uh, is a novel, a unique way to help with, with chronic pain. And it's actually based on uh, venom that's been uh, taken from the Asian cobra. And this venom is uh, diluted 10,000 to 1, denatured, and there's isolates taken from that uh, that are highly diluted, but they actually interfere with the receptors of pain. And wow, it, it's just like here we have this really powerful attenuation that, that modulates the pain signal that works different than anything else out there. Now, what's really powerful about that is the normal function of the nerves, being able to touch and feel things and knowing hot and cold, all, all of the normal day-to-day -day functions still are totally effective. It, it just takes down that, that pain. And, and then I tell them my, my story. I've got a, a good friend, I've known him for many years and uh, 37 years ago, he was attacked by a bully. Uh, long story short, broken hip, suffered uh, eight different medical procedures, including three total hip replacements. Uh, tried everything over those 30 years, something you just couldn't escape, hurting all the time. Uh, somewhere between 30 and 40 minutes after applying this, uh, it was gone. Uh, he's got a whole new life uh, free of not hurting. Uh, everything about his life, sleeping, uh, just walking, sitting, everything is different now. Uh, we, we've had this happen several times with, with other people too. Now, here's the thing that's really cool about this. Uh, it, it's easy to use, long-lasting, non-narcotic, non-addictive. Um, wow. Uh, it, it has good stuff like anti-inflammatory, uh, but, but totally, wow, non-toxic. Isn't that a big deal? You know, not, not to mention the prescription pain relief that has some of the most heinous side effects that just can really mess up a person's life. But as an example, the, the number one cause of liver failure is Tylenol. So if you're just doing over the counter again and again and again, uh, not, not a really good idea. What if you could take something that perhaps might work better than anything else and uh, no downside whatsoever? Uh, wow, this is important because I, I you, you study this and you'll find uh, maybe just from your own friends and I guess, uh, but the, the numbers are that over one third of the population uh, suffers from chronic pain. Maybe we could help them. And I, I think that's such a big thing. In my mind, I'm always hearing this phrase, uh, uh, people might forget what you said. They might forget what you did, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. Well, if somebody is hurting and you can lift that from them, uh, they'll, they'll never forget that. Wow. Uh, so what a way to, to spread joy. Uh, this is a business, but it pays in a spiritual paycheck. Uh, uh, there's a tremendous um, emotional income from this business and helping people in such a, a personal way. 
nano silver. Oh my goodness. Well, if you're a health nut, you probably already have a bottle of colloidal silver in your cupboard and it's great stuff. Now, one of the things I, I, I believe is pretty much anything out there you can, you can make better or, or, or you can make it worse and sell it a little cheaper. And uh, if that's all it is, then uh, you've got a product that uh, is uh, uh, op open to, to anybody. But I think most people have a sense that you could, you know, you could make something better. Well, Gary Samuelson, with his research in nanotechnology, uh, particularly, he spent years working with metals and making them small. And so colloidal silver, uh, it, it, it's fascinating. Uh, years ago, uh, pilgrims, uh, they, they used silver. Uh, the pioneers, they would, they would put uh, a silver dollar in their water barrel to keep the water sweet. Uh, uh, I've heard of putting a silver dollar in a milk pail. Uh, so the milk would uh, stay fresh longer. And uh, Gary Samuelson, he talks about, well, what if you could slice that silver dollar right in half? Well, that'd be half the amount of silver, but effectively the surface area would essentially remain the same. If you did that again, it'd be a fourth the amount of silver, but essentially the, the, the coin would be one fourth the thickness, but overall the surface area would be almost the same. Well, what if you did that again and again? And so that's the idea of colloidal silver. And Gary's idea is just taking it uh, a whole order of magnitude further. And, and so what he's done is something that just is infinitesimally smaller. Uh, he's made little silver balls uh, that are comprised of about 200 atoms a piece. Wow. Uh, uniform little balls. Now that's smaller than a virus, which is the smallest of all uh, things of, of life, uh, if, you, if you could call a virus life, uh, because they can't reproduce themselves, they use us. Uh, well, what if you could make a, a silver ball so small that it interferes with all pathogens, extremely effective. Also, the downside of silver is it can build up in the body and in the bigger pieces like colloidal. That, that's a big, huge, chunky hunks of stuff compared to these little tiny uh, nano sized balls. We're, we're in a whole different world with this stuff. It, it won't accumulate in the body. Uh, the biological connectivity of pathogens is, is just an order of magnitude increased. So it just makes it a whole bunch more effective. Uh, wow, I, I love this. In my mind, I think, uh, wow, okay, here's this little boy in Holland. Uh, he's walking along and just uh, uh, fortuitously, he looks at the dike and there's just a little leak, so small that he's able to run and put his finger in it and he saves the village. Uh, if he came later, uh, that would have eroded and the village would have been flooded. Well, I, I like this idea of just taking a little bit of silver uh, preemptively and just one drop has over a trillion of these little tiny silver balls, a trillion and a drop. And so those are floating around and they love bad stuff, uh, or, or put it other way, bad stuff doesn't like this product. <laughs> and, and we're just having really neat things happen with people to, to do that. And, and so I, I like having that in my body all the time. So it's just like the Dutch boy looking around for, for leaks in the dike. Uh, so immunity mushroom, Z, okay, um, immunity, Z for zeolite. Okay, zeolite does have a lot of value uh, in intestinal health. And so this is not the little one micron zeolites. These are bigger pieces of zeolite. So it remains in the gut. Did you know that most of the immune system is actually living in your, in your gut? And okay, mushrooms. Rick Deitch is a big fan of mushrooms. And that company that he worked with before and licensed his zeolite with, he also created uh, a very super popular product based on mushrooms. And uh, he's, he's just made this better, uh, including like the zeolite that he has now. It's better uh, than the stuff I used when uh, I, I can tell a difference. I can even feel it in my mouth difference. Uh, this, this, is, this is amazing stuff. And, and you can learn new words when you join this company like clinoptilolite. Uh, now we can learn this wonderful word, word uh, agaricus blazi. 
ooh, <laughs> super califragilistic. No, but but anyway, we've we've got some amazing mushrooms that have enormous capacity. Rick Deitch talks about uh, uh, that this isn't some stimulant uh, to the uh, immune system, which, which some mushrooms are, uh, excuse me, what some uh, uh, immune formulas are. As an example, you might see uh, golden seal or echinacea. Uh, herbs like this can, can be very useful because they stimulate. Uh, however, a, a lot of things that can be really dangerous is you are got an immune system that, that gets too excited already. Uh, uh, something attacks it and it goes hysterical and overreacts and you get this cytokine storm or, or something like that. And uh, so, so this is not uh, letting loose uh, uh, immune stimulants into your body when you take uh, mush this mushroom formula. What, what it is more, Rick, uh, I, I think he talks about instead of passing out hair trigger uh, weapons to, to shoot the stuff with uh, and, and getting the immune system all uh, overexcited, it's handing the immune system little walkie talkies. Uh, this is all about cellular communication. Isn't that a neat idea? Uh, but it's more than just immune. It, it seems to be adaptogenic. It makes everything in your body work better. Uh, this is something you'll probably notice a difference. And in fact, it talks about uh, people, uh, you research these mushrooms. Uh, ooh, wouldn't you want to have all of this kind of stuff? Increased longevity, uh, you know, helping your, your blood, uh, liver and kidney support, uh, heart disease. Uh, it just everything works better. So, wow, who wouldn't want to take this formula? Uh, you'll probably notice a difference. And, and results are based on just uh, taking one in the morning and one at bedtime. So it isn't like this thing, well, some is good and more is better. Uh, that, that will probably make the big difference right there. Okay, so uh, we've, we've got two ways that you can interface with a Vini. And when you talk to people, you're, you're going to find, I, I guess there'd be three uh, ways to interface with Avini. One, you can say, oh, no, no, thanks. I, I'm not interested. Uh, but uh, the other two answers would be, you know, I'd, I'd like to try the product. And, and we love customers. And, oh, wow, everybody should really be on this product. Uh, if somebody says, well, uh, I'm not too interested in this. It's not for everybody. I think, oh, it ought to be. Everybody should be using these products because of, of the world that we live in, the state of our uh, environment. Uh, this stuff is, is just essential. I, I like the idea that uh, we're, we're a takeout company. Uh, we, we take out heavy metals and toxins. Uh, the silver, it takes out pathogens, you know, the biological problems like virus and bacteria and fungus, and even I can mess up parasites. This, this is cool stuff. And, and we take out pain, Ooh, wow. And, and we add uh, this adaptogenic, powerful mushroom formula. Oh, I, you're, you're, you're just gonna, you're gonna feel good using these products. Uh, and so we'd love to have you at least as a customer, but so often in, in the pathway of a, of a good business with wonderful products, people think, well, wow, I wanna be on these products. Uh, how can I get the best price? And some of the initial thoughts are, I definitely want to take these products. Uh, if I share them, and I already am, uh, what if I strategically share them purposefully uh, with a goal to pay for my own products, give my own products for free? Uh, well, if I could do that, maybe I could make some more money. And, and it just kind of moves along like this. And so we've made it very easy to actually start your own business not just to have wonderful products and, and start increasing income, but another thing is there's actually two IRSs out there. Uh, one that uh, uh, you're getting W-2 forms and another where you're getting 1099. Uh, which would you rather do, pay tax on your gross or on your net? And I, I just think, wow, uh, everybody should have a home office. Uh, th this is a big deal. If you are... are just active in the game and, and everything and you're at your accountant uh, uh, doing your taxes, that might even be a suggestion. You know, how can I, how can I increase my legal deductions? And they might actually say, well, start a business, get a home business going. Most businesses began in a home or a garage, in, including this one. Uh, we, we've got something that this so wonderful. It, it's just a cookie cutter. Uh, it's a system where you come in, 
uh, by purchasing a pack for $2.99 or $4.99, that activates you. You, be, you get a personal uh, a Vini Health website that you can share with others. And, and then you just start talking to people day after day after day. And when you do that, you start creating customers and a business. It's just all about that. Wow. And so here's just a, a breakdown of, of the different products. We have two at the, at the $2.99 level and two uh, choices at the $4.99 level. And if you look, the retail value is considerably more. And so right off the bat, uh, you're, you're getting a, a good deal on some wonderful products. That is awesome. And, and then on top of that, uh, you could actually write that off because it's a business expense. You're purchasing product to launch your business. Uh, this is all promo, demo. Uh, that's, that's exciting. And, and I recommend you get these and don't look at it as a, as a pantry pack. Uh, it's just to use yourself, get these products, go out and share them with people, let people see these products. And, and wow, uh, you, you can't help but go forward in your business if you consistently get really good at sharing these with, with people. Okay, there's five ways to earn uh, income in this business. Okay, right off the bat, the simplest one to understand is we got a product that's awesome. And so you start talking to people about uh, a way to uh, clean toxins out of their body. Most people have heard of body burden. Uh, people have heard of heavy metals. And when they become aware that just simply by uh, having a little bottle and putting drops on your tongue, uh, that enters the body and it just grabs onto heavy metals and, and is just eliminated through the kidneys. Wow. Uh, that, that is the neatest thing. It, it's just amazing. So, so you can earn 20%. That's paid weekly, every, every Friday. Uh, also, if you start duplicating yourself, which is the most wonderful thing in this business, this idea of, uh, I think J. Paul Getty said it the best. Uh, he has a book uh, written many years ago. Uh, here's a self-made billionaire that shared the secret. He said, I would rather have a 100% return Excuse me, I would rather have a 1% return on 100 men than a 100% return on myself. That's it. Find a way to make systems and multiply your efforts through other people. I, I get so excited about the power of that, creating uh, a business that it's not uh, all dependent on you doing the work. Uh, uh, so many businesses, uh, it's really you've just created your own business, uh, your own job. And uh, if you're not working, you're not making anything. Wouldn't it be cool to actually create a business that exists beyond your effort that is multiplied past that? Again, uh, getting a 1% return on 100 people instead of just 100% on yourself. Well, you, you will get more on this one right here. Uh, look at this right here. Wow, uh, this, is, this, is a, a, this is amazing. So we have uh, uh, the 299 pack. You get uh, $75 every time you enroll somebody with one of those, and you make $125 every time you enroll uh, that. And uh, so that's, that's, that's powerful stuff right there. So, wow. Here's a, here's a thing I think is really powerful also. Uh, team commission. This is where you get paid a percentage on the team that you're creating, the volume that they do. And as you build a bigger team, you move up in rank, and we'll talk about those ranks, but uh, you also, when you hit a new rank, you get a one-time uh, commission, which is substantial, a bonus for hitting that rank. And, and then also, as you sponsor people personally, uh, as, as your business grows, you, you, uh, people will, uh, your upline might put people into your business, which is fun. And so it's a very cooperative uh, team effort. Uh, but the people you personally bring in, there's a matching bonus based on that. So let's go into some more detail, just how that works. Okay, so this is, this is the details. Uh, retail customers, you get 20%, and that's monthly. And the enrollment bonus, already mentioned that. Uh, okay, I guess I, I went through those as well. 
Okay, so here is something that right uh, immediately you think, oh my goodness, this is complicated. There's a lot of numbers here, lots of lines here. Um, uh, if I if I look at an Excel spreadsheet, I'm I'm not into that kind of stuff. I uh, I had to take a, an accounting class in college. I got a D in it, and I was grateful for that. <laughs> uh, that that's not my thing. When 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 a, a debit could be good and a credit could be bad, uh, that I uh, just kind of messed up my my mind a, a lot. Just kind of. And I just thought, oh, I, so probably emotionally, I just kind of thought, oh, I, 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 you know, this is not me. I don't want to be an accountant and looking at this and think these are, these are numbers. But however, it, it's just a lot of the same things again and again and again in increments that just move up. And so you're only looking at just a few metrics uh, that get better as you grow and, and the percentages get better as well. So, so if you just kind of look at it that way, uh, this is more just a, uh, a chart that you can kind of see how things are, are working. And so, okay, so we're gonna kind of open this up a little bit. Uh, okay, every company I've seen based on this, and this is a, a, a wonderful uh, profession uh, where uh, historically over, uh, uh, wow, Amway, Shackley, uh, Neo Life. Some some of these companies go back to the early fifties. Uh, we've we've got a his, a history of literally a whole lot of people that have become millionaires. A, a whole lot of people that have made substantial extra income, and all of these people uh, they've done certain things a certain way. And uh, all of these companies they all uh, say you need to be your own best customer. You need to be using the stuff yourself. I, I've never seen a company that doesn't require personal volume. And it seems like the magic number is do a hundred bucks yourself. And, and what if you did that and you taught everybody else to do that? Well, I'm, I'm gonna say, what if you did 500 and you taught everybody to do 500? <laughs> uh, but but you, you want to do at least personally every month a hundred. And I highly recommend you get into it on auto ship and do it the very first and teach other people to do the very same thing. Uh, now, also, how can you go to a customer and invariably real soon uh, when you start talking to people about it and they say, well, what have you noticed with this product? Uh, why are you sharing it? Well, you certainly wouldn't say, well, I actually, I, I don't use it myself. I just want to sell it to you. Uh, that, that sounds so dumb. That just doesn't make any sense. I, I can't believe that happening. Uh, you, you need to use the product yourself magically. By you doing that, you'll feel the power of it. And you, you will want it to share it with the people you love because you'll, you'll believe in it. And so that's just kind of a naturally the way we're made. And so you want to have a personal volume qualification. And to qualify for uh, downline qualifications, this is, this is the coolest thing. To become a silver... If you look at that uh, on the top uh, at Apprentice Silver, all you need to, to qualify for a bonus is uh, uh, QV. That, that's your overall qualifying volume. Uh, all you need is 500. So if somebody comes in, they buy a kit, uh, you, you get a couple of customers or, or, you, or even just technically, if you have one customer and, and one person that, that you sponsor that does uh, an outside volume of 100, uh, you'll, you'll qualify for a bonus. And most of the way along the ranks, uh, personal volume is just a hundred bucks. Once you hit Emerald, it goes up to 200. Well, my goodness, uh, if, if you're an Emerald, it's not going to be by accident. You're actually out there sharing it. And to have the energy and excitement to share it, you're probably using all of the products. If you're using all of the products, well, and, and if you have a family, you're, you're probably going to be eating 200 anyway. But uh, to get paid uh, going forward into the upper levels, the 100 becomes 200. Uh, qualifying volume uh, essentially is just uh, the same thing. As you grow, uh, essentially all of those ranks are just higher and higher qualifying volume because there's more and more people being involved. And if you look at this tree right here, it's you, you've got three people and they've got three people. This is the structure of our business. That's why we call it trinary because essentially you're finding uh, three good people and maybe you sponsor your first three people, one of them or two of them, they aren't uh, the key person. We'll just keep sponsoring and, and grow 
tap roots down below, eventually you'll find three key people. And that's what it's all about. Uh, also, customer qualification. Uh, okay, you need at least one customer, and that's what the APC is, is active uh, personal customers. Uh, active means they're just buying something. That, that's simply all it is. So right at first to be a silver, all you need is one customer. Uh, to move up the rank, uh, your qualifying volume is moving along as you're bringing in more people. And so there it is. Uh, to become a gold, you, you might look at your chart and you've got all of this volume and, and yet you're not ranked yet. You're a distributor. Well, if you uh, put in a, an order, if you get one customer, if you sponsor one person, then all of a sudden magically you could maybe at that point instantly be an executive silver. Uh, or maybe you already might be sitting on uh, enough volume to be a gold. You just don't have two customers yet. And so uh, you've got one customer. Uh, as soon as you get one more customer, bang, you might be a gold executive already because you already have that volume. I'm, I'm looking around in my uh, organization. I'm seeing people that are sitting on some pretty high volume, uh, but they haven't qualified yet because they haven't got a customer yet or they haven't sponsored somebody yet. And so, so it, it is a business. And to be in business, you need to, to do the work. <laughs> and, and that's uh, finding customers and recruiting people into your team. I do that and, and do that again and again and again, and it compounds and, and you just move up there. It's, it's just the neatest thing. What we do daily accumulates. And so here we go. Uh, get customers, get as many as you can. Okay, begin with the end in mind. I'm thinking, okay, I, I need at least eight customers. And wow, I've, I've done that before, sharing this product with people. Well, I can, I can do it again with this. Wow. Uh, the company I first joined and was actively sharing this with, uh, the wholesale of the zeolite was 69. Well, now the retail is 69. So, hey, I did it before. I can I could do that again. Volume qualification. Okay, uh, the rank as you go, which would you rather be a silver or a sapphire or, or a, a diamond? All of it's the same. It's get three good people. Uh, the difference between a silver and a, and a diamond essentially is just doing more of the same. Uh, every day, talk to people. And, and if you talk to people, uh, you're going to get more customers and you're going to get more distributors and, and then just balancing be them between the three legs. And so as you move along, uh, you've got, uh, you're getting more customers and you're getting more volume. And uh, that, that's pretty much it. Now, one of the big things is some, some extra things. Okay, uh, right at first, just to be a silver, you, you technically only need uh, two active legs. That, that's what PQL means, is personally qualified legs. And, and so you, you could actually, uh, I guess you could be a binary uh, at the very beginning. But again, begin with the end in mind. Find three good people and start building with all of those people. If you're thinking, I'm gonna see how far I can go with just two people, I, I wouldn't do that if I were you. I would find three good people and immediately start looking, how can I keep those legs balanced? And that's, that's a, a big factor right there. And so to move up past silver, you need three active legs. So, okay, there, there we go. Also, based on that, you're going to look at leg percentage. Well, what in the heck does that mean? Leg percentage? Okay, the volume. Uh, let's look at the very top one, uh, Silver Apprentice. You need 500 to hit that. Uh, well, Avini gives you an 80% credit on any one leg. So of that 500, 80% of 500 is 400. And they've done the math for you. Maximum leg, 400. Minimum leg, 100. It has to be at least that. Okay, to move up to 1,000, same math, 80, 20. Uh, that'd be 800 and 200. It, it could be 700, 300, of course, on that, or 500, 500. But the most you can count on any one leg is 80%. So if it was 900, 100, uh, you'd think, well, I've got my 1,000. Can I be a director? No, no, you have to have uh, 200 in the minimum leg. So you could have 900 and 150. You're still not there until you get 200 in that minimum leg. Uh, same with, let's say, gold, 75, 25, 5. 
that's where, okay, now you really do have to have an extra leg. Uh, and it could be little, right? At first, uh, uh, through several levels, all you need is 5% of your volume in, in that one leg. But even that, as it moves up, uh, you can see that uh, it, it gets bigger. But if you're growing it, it, it will get bigger uh, along with the rest of your business. Uh, the only way to not get paid and have a, an amazing volume is you found a really good one. They're working really hard and you've sat back uh, snoozing and you've got all this leg uh, doing all the volume and they're doing all the work. So so the Avini plan is, is, is designed to be just very pure, clean, equitable, fair, uh, so that the people that are doing the work, uh, that's where the reward goes to. Uh, but sitting on that, I love the idea of FOMO, fear of missing out. This is really powerful where you can build somebody one good leg and for intents and purposes, they're, they got half a business there. Uh, maybe, maybe they're doing something like 10,000 a month in volume and they haven't sponsored anybody yet. Well, as that pressure builds, hopefully, uh, that it'll, it'll employ this fear of loss, fear of missing out, which can suddenly be more urgent, uh, uh, more motivating than just desire for gain. Uh, I, ideally, we all have some hunger to have more, uh, and, and we all kind of naturally have this fear of missing out. Well, this plan really does a good job on, on helping uh, move both of those along. So here we are, try to get it balanced, uh, but... Uh, uh, the company is just very generous as far as the leg balance on on just kind of how and things normally happen. 80-20 is an example. There's a thing called the Pareto principle called that, the 80-20 law. Uh, but if you're actively working, you can offset that uh, very realistically uh, yourself by breaking it into thirds. So that helps soften the Pareto effect, the 80-20 thing, uh, but also actively you know, nurturing the smaller leg uh, personally. So, okay, team commission bonus based, based monthly, uh, paid on monthly and uh, volume qualification. So, okay, team commission, again, uh, uh, rank, uh, you get a different size bonus. And, and you can look here and see, it's, it's pretty substantial when you, when you look at that. Uh, team commission uh, starts at $60 as a silver apprentice and it can move up into the thousands of dollars. Uh, wow. Uh, and it's all just essentially doing those two things every day. Uh, talk to people and get them into being a customer or a partner in, in the business. Uh, do that and then teach it to other people. So I guess it's three things. Uh, uh, get customers, get distributors and, and teach other people to do those same activities. Teach three to reach three. Okay, rank up bonus. Okay, this is a, a really cool thing. If you look up the rank up bonus, that's all the way to the right. Uh, just hitting silver, the top level of silver. If you notice, rank up bonuses are paid on the top level position of each rank. And so uh, silver executive, gold executive, sapphire executive, that's when the rank up bonus uh, clicks in. Uh, so the first time you hit silver executive, in addition to all the other incomes, you get a one-time extra bonus of 150. Or hitting gold executive, you get a one-time extra 500. Well, what if you hit gold your first month? Well, they're accumulative. So it isn't either or. You would get the 50, the 500 plus the 150. So you'd get 650. Or if you hit sapphire your first month, you would get, uh, wow, 1,000 plus 500 plus that. You'd, you'd get uh, 1,650 rank up bonus. Now, moving up into the upper levels, in fact, I think Sapphire, Ruby, uh, Emerald, all of those, it's actually split in half. And, and so you get 50% the first time. And, and let's say you stumble. Uh, the first company where I saw this, if you stumbled, that other half was lost forever. Uh, our company, uh, you stumble a little bit. We're not going to kick you while you're down. Uh, we'll hold that in reserve. So let's say a couple of months later, you, uh, you tripped, uh, you got back up, and now you requalified as uh, Ruby or whatever. Uh, well, you'll qualify for that other half. That is neat, no matter how long it takes. I love that. Okay, here's another fun thing. Okay, all the people you personally enroll 
you get uh, an extra 7%, but also uh, working with those people, helping them enroll others, you get 5% on your second level matching bonus. This is, uh, uh, wow, really good for, <coughs> excuse me, for all the people that you personally enroll. Okay, auto ship. Okay, auto ship is a wonderful thing. So what if you build a business and it was all about, again, uh, consumable products that people will fall in love with and want to use forever, but further incentivize them purchasing them by uh, giving them reward points if they sign up in the auto ship program. Now, how it works is the product price stays the same. However, you earn these extra points, which are 20%, and it builds up into an account and you can take those points and order product. So if you're thinking, okay, 20%, well, five times 20 is 100. That means every five months, you've got uh, an additional uh, equivalent of what you've been buying for free. So if you just, you could, you could do that or, or order extra products, or uh, we're going to have swag and tools, things like that. And you can purchase that with your reward points. Also, customers are able to do that. Now, here's, here's the qualification. Uh, we want people to do this between the first and the 10th. I, I think there's tremendous value in that because when, when you're building this big team, uh, ideally what happens is the very next month, you're, you're starting all over again. And for that first moment, uh, you open up and look and your volume is, is nothing because you just started this new month. Nobody's bought anything yet. Well, well, imagine the power of momentum uh, and just the psychological thing. If, if looking at, at your first day of the month and you see a, a tremendous amount of volume there, because not, not only is it because you've got the, 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 all the equity of the people and the team you've created that love these products and, and they're still building their business. And so each month you're starting over, you're really not because you're carrying all of the people and the team and the equity of the business that you already have created into the next month. But what if you taught everybody to place an auto ship order on the first? Uh, wow. And then you've got all the rest of the month of activity to build on top of that. So that, that just, it works way, way better. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you, uh, human nature is, uh, you know, cramming for uh, the final exam, the last couple of days or, or whatever. And, 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 and this is a natural thing that will happen in this business too, is people buy for uh, hitting up rank and, and uh, well, if you just do this. And, and of course, starting at the bottom, like a, a Boy Scout would uh, light a fire by getting the wood and gathering it and, and stacking it and then lighting the match at the bottom. Uh, in, in this business, what you'll do is, is you'll look at your tree and go to the bottom of the roots and say, hey, I, I just noticed uh, you've got somebody sponsored. If you uh, just get one customer that'll activate your business and you, you'd be a silver executive just by getting one customer. I highly recommend you do that. And all of a sudden that a little extra volume triggers that. And then you just work up and say, wow, if you do this and this, you could, you could be a, a sapphire. And, and so a lot of activity is done just by people thinking, oh, how can I optimize where I'm at uh, if I just do that? And if everybody's kind of uh, doing those same things, uh, the last part of the month can be spectacular as far as volume, but, but couple that with teaching everybody to begin uh, the race uh, full bore by having their own product on uh, auto ship. Another thing, again, we talk about how you want to do at least 100 in the early stages or at least 200. What, what if you just got all excited and were helping other people and you forgot to put your own order in? Ooh, that would be tragic because you need that to get the bonus. So. Uh, that you could say this is a, a check insurance uh, program uh, being on auto ship. These are all definitions and environment. This is a fine print um, that you, you'll have access to print this out. Uh, it's a, a wonderful reference to, to look at. If you look at all of these acronyms, uh, APC, let's see, what does that mean again? Uh, so you can look that up. But I, I think one of the things I, I just like to finish with is, is uh, this is a revival and uh, a revival by definition is just uh, helping the, the strength and, and, and fortune of someone. And, and so we're having a revival. And 
Steve Jobs, I, I think he's done so many admirable things, uh, uh, definitely a thought leader, uh, an amazing businessman with vision. And, and he said something I, I just love. Um, I, I heard him say it in the last interview. You can look that up. Uh, I, I took notes on it. Uh, very, very amazing stuff. Uh, interestingly, this last interview was taken. Um, Steve Jobs had, had, been, had been fired from his own company, <laughs> kind of a hostile takeover thing. And the, the company was without a leader. That was uh, on the rocks. People were wondering if it was going to go anywhere. Oh, gee, I wish I would have bought some stock right at that moment because Steve Jobs came back. And uh, my goodness, uh, what a rebound. Uh, but, but this is what he said uh, in, in that moment. He just says, I was lucky enough to spend my life in finding A players, getting the best people together. We were on a mission from God. It was the hardest and the happiest moment in my life, an intense and cherished experience, creating a beautiful culture, creating products of spirit and enlightenment. I'll, I'll tell you, my friends, this, this is it. Uh, we are at this very wonderful moment and, and, and enjoy this very precious moment. Uh, I, to me, this is such a happy time. Uh, again, Vince Lombardi, it, it's so much more fun to create than just to maintain. And uh, oh, goodness, the world needs what we have. And I, I, I think, you know, Steve Jobs, computer stuff, uh, iPhones, we were on a mission from God. Well, well, God is in the people business. Uh, I, I, I think, wow, if we do anything to serve others, uh, we, we are serving him. And, and not all product has equal power to do good. I believe our products could do the greatest good because we're not just helping people communicate. We're helping people live. Uh, we're, we're helping our, our most important uh, instrument, and that's our physical body. And, and so at the bottom here, uh, I, I love this thought, uh, 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 you know, Avini Health, disrupting sick, the sick care industry, one happy customer at a time. But uh, hey, I love you all and uh, hope this has been benefit for you. And let's just go do this. So thanks, everyone, and hope you guys enjoyed this. Take care.